Hi folks, so today I'm gonna tell you a few quick tips and the importance of using mask in your color grading. There are four very simple tricks that you can use yourself and they're very easy to do but the results are amazing and it will make your footage stand out and, and make your subjects pop out of the image. So first we're going to talk about saturation mask. The first thing you have to do is grade your image uh, the way you would apply a LUT, whatever you're going to do to the image. After that you're going to go ahead and duplicate that layer and in the layer in the top you're going to create an opacity mask. By creating an opac opacity mask you will effectively separate that part of the image against the background which is the layer underneath. Then you will go ahead and change the saturation or the exposure or any other uh, details you would like to change. This will make your viewers attention go straight to your subject because it has more saturation. I went ahead and made a secondary selection to add a bit of red and oranges to the skin tones. It's, again it's very subtle, these changes have to be very subtle because you don't want to make it obvious because it breaks the illusion uh, that the viewer has. Then you can play it back and make sure that it, your effects are working the way you want it to be. And there you can see that she's popping out and it's a subtle change again. And then the rest of the image is a, a bit bleached out. The next one we're going to talk about is a blur mask. Again, we're going to do the same. We're going to select our clip, grade it the way you want it, apply the LUTs you want it. And then you're going to duplicate that layer. You're going to go to uh, effects and find a blur, Gaussian blur we're going to use in this case. And then in blur, you're going to make the mask. You fit it to the shape of your uh, subject. And then remember to be very subtle because this one can be very distracting if uh, you take it uh, to exaggerate. In this case we're going to actually invert the layer just so the blur is outside and not her. I think I'm going to leave it around 13% uh, and I'm happy with that. That gives enough separation. I'm just going to play it back and that works for me. The next one we're going to talk about is a track map. And in this case I'm going to actually use the pen tool just so I can get a better shape uh, that actually represents her face. Again, we're going to do like both previous steps. We're going to apply the LUT we want to the layer underneath. We're going to duplicate that layer and then we're going to go and select in our top layer our uh, mask option and we're going to use the pen tool in this case. So we're going to make a shape that roughly uh, represents our face. I'm going to do a quick shape uh, in this case just for the tutorial, but you should take more time uh, making this mat uh, just to make it more subtle and then you actually matching the shape you're going to do so the viewer doesn't see the kind of uh, magic that you're doing. Again all these changes don't have to be obvious. If people don't notice them you're actually doing it uh, very well. If people can see them if you're too exaggerated then it takes away from the experience of viewing the scene. Once you have the selection I'm going to add a bit a uh, of more orange and red in the mid-tones. Then I'm going to go ahead and track the mat. That's going to take a bit. Premiere would get the shape that you selected as a mat and it will track it over time. Generally it's very good and accurate. If there's very complex movements you might have to do this uh, by hand. It's not too complicated but it's very time consuming. Once that's done, we're going to play it back and make sure uh, the mat is where it should be. So actually, I just made a mistake there. I made the mat in the Lumetri color. So we're going to copy that mat and we're going to paste it in the opacity tab. So then that's going to give us uh, the effect we want. So I'm going to play with the bottom layer and lower the exposure a little bit and then play that back. So I'm going to go and lower a bit the temperature uh, which introduces 
a bit more blue and makes a contrast with the oranges in her skin. So lastly, uh, you could actually with this type of mats, when you're uh, adding it to faces or eye detail, I would say uh, introduce a little bit of sharpness and it will give you even more separation and attention to the area of the images that you want. So in this case, we are gonna go and play with saturation and color temperature. Again, you uh, look for the color grade that you want. I'm adding a loot. In this case, just to get a starting point, I duplicate the layer. I'm gonna make a, a small adjustment uh, to the contrast, lower a bit the blacks to give more saturation, and then bump a little bit the midtones so her skin uh, looks a little bit more alive gonna rise a little bit the exposure and now I'm gonna create the mask uh, with that pen tool again you should probably take more time creating your mask I'm doing a very simple selection and fast just for the sake of this tutorial if you pull the square little tab there that the mat has you expand the mask if you pull the circle up you uh, expand the feather of the mask so again, circle is the feather and square expands the mask. So once I'm happy with the results, I am gonna go and select the lower layer and lower the saturation and a bit the exposure. That already makes my image uh, or my subject a uh, pop. So again, in this case, I'm gonna go and make in the HSL tab, I'm gonna make a selection. I want to select her skin tones and then I'm gonna pump up a little bit uh, reds and oranges just to give her skin tone a little more color. If there's any questions you have, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.